Opelika's Eric Watts spent his time as a Bulldog lighting up the football field. But now he's getting his chance to electrify another football field, this time at Itawamba Community College. I spoke with the former Bulldogs running back about moving away from home and the next steps in his football career. First off, Eric, congratulations on committing to Itawamba Community College. How does it feel to finally know where you're going? Uh, it, feels, it feels great knowing what I'm about to do next with my life. So signing day is right around the corner. What kind of emotions are going to be going through your head on that day when you can finally put your pen to paper? Uh, when I finally do that, I'm going to be feeling kind of really joyous. Well, I'm going to be happy because I'm, I'm really ready to get out of high school, but also kind of sad because, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be my first time uh, moving, to, moving to another state and experiencing, experience, I mean, getting that college experience. So when did Itawamba start talking with you, and what did they kind of say to you to get you to commit? Uh, they had, they had uh, started talking to me about three, four weeks ago. We were communicating right now because with the whole recruiting process, it's been going kind of slow and all. So we had got on the phone and talked, and he had told me he, he extended an offer to me. And then last week when he came and, when he came and spoke with me and talked to me uh, in person at school, he really sold. He really sold on me then. When I got to uh, talk to him, he told me about the campus and all. And uh, uh, it's very hard to get. Now, um, Mississippi schools don't really take a lot of out of state, a lot of out of state people for junior colleges. So ultimately, what was it that made you say, "I'm going here for college"? Uh, besides besides it being only besides it being only four hours away, like unlike all the other JUCOs, it was like twelve. Uh, the fact that they didn't they didn't really take a lot a lot of people out of uh, Mississippi they only allowed five out of state five five or eight out of state kids so I know that if they really chose if they chose me then they really wanted me and I was gonna be a fit for their program. So you kind of mentioned it was kind of tough during this year because of the recruiting process. I guess how did COVID impact your recruiting process the whole way through until today? Well, with COVID, COVID just in, COVID impacted everything a lot because. A lot of kids still, a lot of kids still got a whole extra year, uh, from back from COVID, for every sport. So, it it really was hard. Um, uh, recruiting was hard this year. So I guess you're getting ready to move on to the next part of your life. What are you looking forward to most when you get to college? I'm really looking forward to playing to playing football. Really. And how do you think Opelika, both football and high school, prepared you for the next step in your life, whether it's athletics or academics? Uh, academically, they set me straight, and they kept me on the right track no matter what. And athletically, I felt I felt like they prepared me. They prepared me the best that I could be for the next step in my life. So you're going a little more than four hours away from home. What is that going to be like for you when you step on campus and realize you can't take a quick drive home anymore? I mean, to me, I'm ready. I'm ready to get away and move. So it won't really be me like just missing home too much. I don't think so. And kind of along those lines, what about the Itawamba Community College program do you find the best part, I guess, on the football team? What do you find the best part about their football program? The best part about their football program is uh, just how they, how they run their offense and how they run things at my position. And I, and I, know, that, and I know that the coach uh, will find, find a way to fit me in there and just how they run their offense. It fits my play style of football. Well, I want to go back a little bit to, I guess, looking forward to signing day on Wednesday. How is that going to be for you to be able to sign alongside some of your teammates? Man, it's going to, it's going to feel great, really. I mean, that's all I've been thinking about for the past month. Well, Eric, that's all the questions I have. Now, I know there's a lot of people that have probably helped you along your way to get to this point in your life. So um, if you want to give any shout outs to any of those people, you're welcome to. Oh, uh First, shout out to all my shout out to my parents for always being there from day one, you know. And then second, shout out to all the coaches. It was never a time when I when I doubted that a coach had didn't have faith in me or a coach or I felt like the coach was demeaning to me. Every coach at Open High School has always been by my side and stuck with me. Well, Eric, again, congratulations on taking the next step in your football career. All right, thank you.